Hey guys, I am back with another video and today I just want to talk about the different types of ways and techniques that you can use to get a quick beat when you need to get out of the door fast for whatever reason, be it work or to run an errand or church or however. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. So first I want to begin by saying when you're doing your makeup, pick some products that work well for your skin type and whatever type of look that you're trying to achieve. So the products that I'm going to use in this video are products that I feel work good for me when I'm just trying to get something on really quick and get out of the door. So with that being said, I've already put on my skincare and for my serum, I use the Remedy for Dark Spots serum. Serum, this is it and you'll always catch me using some type of serum or skincare product that has some type of anti-aging uh, ingredients attached to it or something that's going to benefit my skin in the long run and I tend to have issues with hyperpigmentation or sometimes I'll get dark spots or things like that so I like to pick products that are going to keep those types of things at bay and I also use the Elemis superfood facial oil and I just used a little bit of it and the reason that I used it is because here lately I feel as though my skin is a little bit drier than it normally um, has been in the previous years you all know my age I'm 52 I'll be 53 this September so the looks that I tend to go for when I'm out in public they differ uh, sometimes from the looks that uh, you've previously seen me with you know like with the heavy full coverage makeup and things like that now don't get me wrong I will wear the full coverage lashes and all of that uh, if I'm going out you know and I've always said if I'm going out to a concert or out to dinner at night where you really can't see how thick it is or whatever you know I, I like to wear those but if it's to work or church or just out to run an errand you you will see me with the more simple looks without the lashes uh, with a lot without a lot of things going on so with all that being said when i'm trying to get a quick look in i really do like using the Danessa myrix i don't know why i feel as though that's a tongue twister but i like to use the yummy skin um, foundation and as you all know you get a little applicator which I love and this is it so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that to my skin and I'm gonna use the applicator to get it out and once I apply it I just rub it in I don't I will use a sponge or a brush if needed just kind of buff around the edges but for the most part, I'm just going to rub it in. And that's what I like about it. It's really quick and easy to use, uncomplicated. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this does say that it self sets or something or another. I have to put it on the screen. And I'm just gonna take my hand and rub it in everywhere. And again, this is what I like about it because it's really quick and easy to use. Okay. And when I'm trying to get my quick looks in, you know, as far as the brows and I don't do the brows, I don't do the lashes. I may do a little, a, a little bit of contouring, which you'll see. Um, but for sure, I'm going to address the darkness right up in here and right here and right here. I'll just do a little bit of it. And I'll typically try to use a full coverage concealer to do that so and what i like about this yummy skin foundation is that it's so to me it's very hydrating it's moisturizing and it really works good with my skin and as far as the shade it's probably not the best shade but i think at, in the end i'll make it work <laughs> okay so this is what we have so far and for my lip pre prep pre prep i didn't show you all this but i did use vaseline i didn't use any type of fancy lip oil or anything like that all right so i got that in and i think i got it smoothed in really well but just for good measure i'm just going to take a sponge and i'm going to go around the edges just to make sure everything is okay all right so to address the dark circles and things like that i'm going to use a bobby brown concealer and again this is just areas that i'm just trying to address 
okay and when you're doing your looks you know you might have different things or different parts that you might not have the same issues you, your eyes may not be as dark you might have a dark spot or uh, hyperpigmentation in a particular spot and that would be where you would want to really focus on just kind of focus on your problem areas so you see how that did that it just did a little it didn't do just a lot i am going to apply just a little bit up there just a little bit right here okay like that and up here okay. and probably a little bit more up here <laughs> Okay, and then I feel as though I do have a little bit of hyperpigmentation around here. So I am going to use just a little bit here, 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 and there. So as you can see with this look, you do see a little bit of my issues concealed, but you don't see a lot of it. In other words, you still see the natural Bridget uh, underneath the makeup, which is the goal if you're just kind of doing a quick, simple beat. And if you don't have any blemishes or dark spots or anything you're trying to conceal, you know, you could just do the uh, this part, the concealer, excuse me, the foundation and keep it moving. And as far as my brows, I'm not even, I'll brush them up a little bit, but I'm not going to do the, mo the most with those. And then for bronzer, you know, this is subjective too. You can do it or you cannot. Typically, when I'm going out of the door, this will be it. I will take a little bit of a powder and set under my eyes. And the powder that I like to use is this powder by Sephora, the micro um, finish powder or micro smooth powder. I do like to use a little bit of that just to set the action that's going on under my eyes. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. But before I do it, I'm going to just kind of smooth this out just a little bit more, just to kind of get the creases out. And I just kind of dip it in like that, and then I'll just set it. And whatever powder that I use to set my eyes, I like to use a micro finish powder. To me, those look the best um, as far as not giving that uh, cakey look under your eyes. And then I'm going to set the concealer that I put here and under here. So that's what we have so far. Now you can actually stop it here if you don't want to add any type of bronzer or highlight. You could go in with your lipstick or your lip gloss or whatever you're going to use. But I'm going to go ahead and add a bronzer. And for the bronzer that I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to use the bronzer by Mango People. And it's a bit dark, so I'm only going to use a little bit of it. And I'm going to go around the edges. And again, typically I don't use this step when I'm going out. But if you want to, I'm just going to go ahead and show you all the steps for those of you all who want to add the bronzer and the highlight and things like that. So I'm just going to put a little line right here so you can see that's really deep in one right here, here. Here, 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 and here. So I'm just going to go ahead and take a brush and I'm going to blend that out. So And I'm going to go in with just a little bit of what I have extra on the brush and put a little bit of it here. And you won't be able to really see it probably on camera, <laughs> but it's just a little bit. And then for my highlight, I'm going to use the same highlighter and this is by Mango People. And I'm going to put it here. And I just like using this one because it's really simple to use. Okay, a little bit here. Just wherever you need a need or want a highlight, wherever you need or want it. Okay. And I like it because it is so stinking pretty. 
And then after that, you just kind of take your, your finger and blend it in. That's it. On my nose. And then you can go back in with the sponge around the edges and just kind of blend it out a little bit. All right, next up, we're gonna go in with the lips and I'm just going to put a lip liner and a nude lip and I'm just gonna go in with a lip liner. and then a nude lip stick. Now that I got that, I'm gonna add a gloss. And the last step, I'm gonna add a mascara. And that, my people, is pretty much it. If you have oily skin, you might wanna go in with a mattifying setting spray, or you might want to set it with powder, but I'm not gonna use that because I feel like it's not too dewy, it's not too dry. I feel like it's perfect for where I'm going, which is out and about. So with that being said, let me know down in the comments what techniques you use when you're trying to get a super quick look in and you wanna look put together without looking overly put together. Let me know if you use any of the same techniques that I use or, or any of the makeup products that I use. Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.